today our topic of discussion is bcnf or boy scout normal form now if i tell you the definition of the boy scout normal form it looks very very similar to 3nf so here what is our topic of discussion today it is very interesting actually we are not going to learn boy scout normal form actually we are going to learn what is the difference between 3nf and bcnf so now this portion is very very difficult to understand in normalization so now first i am giving you one example means what do you mean by boy scout normal form say for an example i have one particular relation r and we have some set of functional dependency like this so here today we will learn what do you mean by boy scout normal form or bcnf but why i am talking about this particular example in case of bcnf there is some reason so we will learn some more detail about normalization using this example so let's see so the definition of the boy scout normal form is if set of functional dependencies are given to you and if left hand side of the functional dependencies are super key then you can say it is in boy scout normal form and i know that whenever i am stating this example it looks very very similar with the definition of the third normal form because third normal form will have its two definition and the second definition is like this so whenever the left hand side of the functional dependencies or left hand side are proven to be a super key then it will be a 3nf so it is the same definition i am using here so whenever a set of functional dependencies are given to you in the form of a arrow b and if lhs is your super key then the relation is in boy scout normal form and also don't get confused i have explained that super key is the super set and we have candidate key as a subset of the super key so if i prove this lhs is a candidate key so it is also a super key so no issues for that so now let's check the critical aspects of this example so first i am going to prove that whether this relation is in boy scout normal form or not for that purpose what i have to do i have to prove this lhs part is candidate key or super key or not so in this case what i will do i will draw the edge diagram so from ab i am getting c so from ab i am getting c and from c i am getting b and also we can say that in the right hand side a is not there so a is the essential attribute so this is the first step so after finding essential attribute what we will do we will try to find out the closure so from a i am getting a and from a no other attribute is reachable now see here so first problem is here the essential attribute is a but this a is not a key so now we have to find out what are the key available for this relation so what is the trick over here whichever essential attribute is there i will keep this attribute in the combination and what are the other combinations so a is the essential attribute apart from a we have b and c so these are the next combination that i have to try so from ab i am getting ab reflexivity and from ab i am getting c so from ab all the attributes are reachable so ab is a candidate key again from ac i am getting ac and from c b is reachable so i am including b over here so ac is also a candidate key so now up to this what is our conclusion up to this our conclusion is the lhs left hand side of the functional dependency is not a candidate key because ab is a candidate key fine but c is not a candidate key so according to the boy scout normal form definition all lhs must be a super key or candidate key 
So in this case, this relation R fails this condition. So at this point of time, we can conclude that R is not in BCNF. So now we know that if a particular relation is not in a normal form, we have to decompose it. Now again, we have to understand how to decompose it. So I will use the same rule that I have stated before. So first thing that we have to prove is whichever functional dependency is creating problem, we will keep those attribute together in one decomposed table. So in this case, a, B to C. So A, B is a candidate key. So it is fine. But C is not a candidate key. So due to the presence of this functional dependency, this relation R is not in BCNF. So this is the problematic functional dependency. So I am keeping C and B together. And now the next rule is the second decomposed table should contain the candidate key. Now here the question is, we have two candidate key for this relation R. A, B and A, C. So, which candidate key should I write here? So, basically my point is, I can write this candidate key either A, B or A, C. Because the rule is problematic functional dependency and then the next decomposed table will contain the candidate key. So, here we have two candidate key. Now, here the question is, which one should I take? Now, here you have to understand I have explained that whenever I am decomposing a table into two part, then whichever attribute I am including in the decomposed portion, there must be one common attribute. Otherwise, this decomposition will not be a good decomposition. It will be a lossy decomposition. So here try to understand whenever you have more than one candidate key and you are going to decompose something if the relation is not in particular normal form. So while decomposing include the problematic functional dependency and then include the key which contains some common attribute with this first decomposed relation. So that's why I'm including AB over here because B is common in both the relation. So in this case, if here C is common, so in this case, I can also take AC as a decomposed version. So we are lucky enough that in this case, we can choose any of the candidate key. But according to my discussion, that if there exists any situation where we are not lucky enough to get the common attribute from both the candidate key, then what we should do? So this is the thing you have to remember, right? So how to find out boys code normal form? It is clear. It is very simple. That is, we have to prove that LHS should be the candidate key, all the LHS of the given functional dependencies. Now there is a beautiful question that is, so what is the difference between 3NF and Boyce-Codd normal form? So both the definitions are same. No. Now I will tell you that special thing that we are going to learn today. 